and welcome to this Apple Numbers tutorial. Quite a while back I did a video on Apple Numbers on how to create a pop-up menu or a drop-down list and populate it into, into your table. So um, I've recently had that prompts a lot of questions and I'll try and answer those questions best I can. Sammy Carl has recently asked a question um, that I think would be worthy of creating a video to show you how to get around this issue. It might help quite a few of you out. How do I create a drop down list that dot 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 125 or more options? Can't I reference a list on another tab within the spreadsheet? Is it too time consuming to type? It is too time consuming to type each option. Thanks. So I think what Sammy is trying to say is that um, they have um, they have a, a list that they've imported from somewhere else. It has 125 plus more options, doesn't matter how many, um, but it's too time consuming to go down each item and click add item. So if we was gonna do this in a cell, let me show you I think what Sam is trying to say is if we went to a cell here and was creating a pop-up menu, um, obviously you type item one, item two, and if you wanna add another item, you just keep typing the items. I think what Sam is trying to say is that that way would be too time consuming because there's 125 items of course um yes you can do it it's really really simple i'm going to show you how so let's um, let me create another another sheet just to um like imitate that we have i'm just going to do it with with 40 40 names but you can do it with as many as you like just to pretend that we so basically i've, I've copied and pasted um, this <laughs> can't type anymore so if you want to sort of create a reoccurring series you can just do three options so like one two three if it's a sort of numerical series and then you can drag and it will count the numbers out for you that's quite an easy way to do that so that's that's a nice little tip um, so let's say for instance I've copied and pasted my 40 names into this table here right so then I'm going to select the first one, press shift command and arrow down. So that selects all of those, um, all of that column. And then I'm going to press command and C to copy all of those names. I'm then going to go and create my 41 cells. So I have 41 space or 40 spaces. And I'm just going to put my cursor in the first box, press command V and it pastes all of those 40 names into the table that I want to create the pop-up menu from. So, as you can see, I'd already got it all selected. Shift Command, um, down arrow to select them all. I'd already got it selected. Now, all we simply do is we go to Cell, we go to Change Automatic to Pop-up Menu, and right away here, it's populated all 40 names in every single cell as a pop-up menu. So one of the one of the problems that we have here, let me select select all of them, right? One of the problems that we have here, let me just select one, is it's starting with the item that was already initially pasted into that cell. So if we went to start with blank, it wouldn't actually go and start with a blank. Okay, so what you can do is click select none, but then you would have to do it for all of them, okay? So, the way around this, this is where we were, the way around this is go to the second one, select them all, shift command and down arrow, select all the ones below it and remove them, just delete them. So now we've just got this pop-up menu in this first box. So I'm then gonna go over here and start with blank and then go to my pop-up and select none. So now I've selected, like I've started this pop-up menu with a blank. So all we do, is select the cell, copy the cell, select the cells that we want to paste it into, paste the cell, or Command V, and it pastes. So now you've got your pop-up menu of 40 plus names. Really is that simple. Um, hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, any problems, put them in the comments below. And um, thanks for the question, Sammy. I'll catch you all soon. Bye.